Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a back to school makeup tutorial with all drugstore products. I know it's getting to be that time where school is right around the corner and just wanted to do a little makeup tutorial that you could wear to school. So if you have not already, don't forget to subscribe down below and let's get into the video. So the look I'm kind of going for today is like a nice medium coverage. Not gonna be like full glam. It's gonna be like a little bit of glam, but you know, not too much. So the first thing we're gonna be going in with is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. So this foundation is great because it's a nice medium coverage. It has SPF in it. I wouldn't say it's like super, super luminous, but it does have a more hydrating formula, so this is really weird for me to film just because this will be the first year that I'm not going back to school, which is, oh my god, that's like the weirdest thing to say and like feel. I just graduated college, so as of right now, I am done with school forever, unless I decide to go to grad school, but right now not going to grad school, so yeah, it's really weird. Um, not you know knowing that i won't be going back to school in the fall i wasn't like the biggest fan of school but i'm glad i'm done with it you know so i mainly wore makeup to school in high school i'd say i wore like a decent amount of makeup in high school also because i kind of had like really oily skin and really acne prone skin so i definitely wore more makeup in high school um but when i got to college didn't wear any makeup to class ever at college wore sweatpants, sweatshirts to class, never once wore makeup to class ever. It was honestly like shocking to see anyone in like jeans on campus, you know, like that's, that's how laid back it is. I honestly, I can't remember the last time I wore jeans. I never, I never wear jeans. And it's just like, you just want to be comfortable in class, especially like a college lecture. Like you just want to be comfortable. So that's why I always wear like sweatpants or yoga pants or you know, whatever. All right, so next for concealer, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. So I love this concealer because it's I've got pretty good coverage, but it's not super drying under the eyes. I feel like school makeup it just, it really just depends on what the person's preference is. <laughs> Look like I have no top lip. I feel like makeup to school, as well as like work, it just really is about what someone likes. Some people like to do full glam every day to school or work. Personally to like work or school, I kind of like to do a little bit of like a medium, like in between natural and full glam. Um, before I keep rambling, I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Fair Lights and going to set my face. So just do whatever makes you comfortable. It's enough coverage to where I feel, you know, comfortable as well as confident, but, but I don't feel like it's too much for me. But this might be too much for someone else. Next we have eyebrows, so I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer and to set my brows taking the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. So I'm just going to fill my brows in pretty lightly, I'm not going to do anything too heavy. I'm just going to give them a shape as well as fill in any sparse areas. Next, for bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Precisions Formula Butter Bronzer. Just going to bronze today. I'm not going to contour. Could definitely contour. I just feel like contouring kind of takes a look to the next level. Um, usually, if I'm doing a pretty like lighter makeup look, I don't contour. I'll just kind of bronze. Next. 
next taking this flower beauty blush in the shade peach primrose and now taking this wet n wild mega glow highlighting powder in the shade precious petals i will say this highlight is pretty it can be pretty intense it's definitely not supernatural by any means, but let's use a little bit. I'm using a decent amount, but if you just try to use like a teeny tiny bit, um, you can definitely tone it down. Do a little bit on the Cupid's bow. And doing some on the nose. So now on to eyeshadow, I'm going to take this Dream Street palette. This is from ColourPop and it is in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. So I'm taking the first shade in the palette, which is Twinkle. And I'm just going to put that in my crease. I'm going for a pretty light natural look on the eyes today. I'm just going to use a few different colors just to give it a little bit of definition. Next, I'm taking the shade Water Bear, and I'm just going to keep that in the kind of outer corner of the crease and blend it into the outer corner and then kind of slowly drag it to the inner portion of the crease. This shade is just going to deepen it up a little bit. I'm also going to take that shade again, Water Bearer, and take a flat brush and kind of push that into the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take Twinkle again and take a fluffy brush and just kind of blend out the lower lash line. And taking the shade Elfish, and I'm going to highlight the brow bone, as well as a little bit in the inner corner. Okay, so that is it for the eyes. Now I'm going to move on to mascara. So I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. And I love this mascara. I mean, I honestly love like almost all of L'Oreal mascaras because they're so good. This one is just so lengthening and it really keeps the shape, which I really need because my lashes naturally just kind of go like, they're kind of slightly turned down. It's really hard for my lashes to keep that curl. It's really important that you curl your lashes and also find a mascara that really holds a curl well. So if you can see the difference, this is just one coat of mascara. Pretty big difference for my lashes. So now on to lips. First, I'm going to take this ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Cookie. And I'm going to add a gloss on top. So I'm going to use this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Moonchild. And this is in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. The last for setting spray, I'm going to use this Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray. So this is the final look. This is my back to school makeup tutorial using all drugstore products. I really do enjoy doing makeup tutorials and kind of just videos using drugstore products because 
as a student, I mean, I was just, I'm not a student anymore, but just, you know, just recently graduating and being a student in high school and college, it's really hard to afford high-end makeup products, especially if you might not be working or even working part-time. It's just, it can be difficult. So that's why I like doing videos using drugstore products. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.